This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you have seen it by now. Tyson Fury has done what Tyson Fury does best. He goes on social media, starts ranting and raving at other people. You see, what he does is he'll go in on people rather than just get on with stuff behind closed doors. It's all uh, part of the entertainment, I suppose. Now, on this particular one, he goes in on Alexander Usyk, he goes in on Anthony Joshua, says Anthony Joshua still hasn't signed the contract, they're both a pair of dosses, they're both a pair of shit houses, and whatever else. Which is kind of funny to me, really, because this is the guy who has literally history, there are receipts of him turning down both of them in the past. Both of them. Hiding behind the arbitration when it comes to Anthony Joshua. We all know, we've all seen the receipts, we followed that story. Sick to death talking about it. Alexander Usyk, he could have fought Usyk instead of Anthony Joshua. Joshua agreed to, to step aside to allow Fury to fight for Undisputed. Fury said, well, actually, I want a tune-up fight before I fight Usyk, even though he hadn't long fought uh, Wilder at that time. Hey, what can you do? It's all entertainment. This is the nature of boxing. Fury is the ultimate diva. He really is. But as to why Joshua hasn't signed a contract yet is beyond me. I don't know. Apparently, they've had it for a few days now. So surely any kind of notes or any kind of amendments that they could be looking for, surely that could have been put together and put it back to Team Fury by now. Surely. It's been a while. I mean, how long does it take? Is there a deadline on it? I don't know. Is Fury now getting to the point where he's just going to go, yeah, you know what? Had enough now. Now I'm going to go fight the guy who I really want to fight in Manuel Char. But then, of course, you have to question, but why offer Joshua in the first place? Is it because... He wants Joshua to turn it down just so we can fight Manuel Char and say, hey, you know what? I tried to fight Joshua, but the shithouse didn't want to fight me. You never know. You never know with Tyson. You never know. But so far, um, I'm still of the belief that the Fury-Joshua fight will happen. As I said, why he hasn't signed the contract yet, the only thing that could, that could possibly be, as far as I'm concerned, could only be the network situation. Because he can't really sign a contract and then Queensbury, Tyson Fury go, okay, now we have to fight. We've got you on contract. Now we're going to put the fight wherever we're going to put it as far as networks are concerned. When Joshua has a contract, a legally binding contract with DAZN. So Joshua has to fight on DAZN. Unless, of course, that he's involved in the purse bid and his promoter doesn't win the purse bid, then different story. But this isn't the purse bid. This is a voluntary defence from Tyson Fury. Fury is, of course, contracted to BT Sport. So his fights have to appear on BT Sport. Joshua is contracted to DAZN. His fights have to be on his own. But according to Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, they can work that out. That's not, that shouldn't really be a problem. But anyway, I'm speculating as to why he hasn't signed the contract. Maybe he hasn't signed it because he's just not going to fight him. I have no idea. As for Usyk, Alexander Usyk, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because Usyk, after the Joshua fight, said he needed some time off to recuperate some old injuries. He wants to spend a bit of time with his family. So therefore, he wants to fight Fury next. That's not going to be until about February or March of next year. Fury's like, all right, cool, no worries. Now I'll fight Joshua or whoever in December. And then suddenly Usyk then pipes up and says, well, actually, I want to fight in December and I might fight Deontay Wilder now. Again, according to his uh, promoter or manager, whoever he is at Climas. So that, that, the whole thing's fishy. I mean, is Usyk just playing Fury at his own games? Maybe he's, not, not, he's really not going to be fighting in December. He's just messing about with him. It could be. It really could be. One big pantomime, isn't it? Anyway, Tyson Fury doing what Tyson Fury does best. Playing with boxing fans' emotions. He does. So hopefully this fight comes off with Joshua. Hopefully they send the contract back, signed, sealed, delivered. Anything that needs ironing out. Let's be honest, it should have really been ironed out by now. We haven't heard anything from Eddie Hearn or Joshua or anything to say what the holdup is. We don't know, but... Fury seems to be in a little bit of a rush. If I was Joshua, if he really wants that fight, I wouldn't push Fury too hard or mess him about or make him feel like he's been messed about because I do get the impression on Tyson Fury's latest post that he's kind of looking for the excuse to go, you know what, screw you, Manuel Char, you're next. He seems that temperament. So anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.